Hi guys and welcome to the second part of this video, the Qatar Airways Open Day Interview Tips, part 2. And in this video, I will be discussing the different tips that I have for each and every step of the Qatar Airways Open Day process. You can definitely also use the tips that I will be giving in this video for your um, interview for other airlines. So, I hope you enjoy this video! And for the impact interview. Okay, so this will be the scenario. You enter the room, there's a lot of people in line and waiting in line, okay? So you are waiting in line, like stand, literally standing up outside the ballroom area or outside the whole uh, you know, room where they conduct the interview. Okay, after you wait for about an hour or two hours on that line, you are now finally able to get in the ballroom or, or the room. First of all, wait. Wait until the girl in front of you is finished. And after she left the table, sh the recruiter will be writing, okay? So when the recruiter is writing, stand up, okay? You have to stand up. Things to remember, eye contact, smile, and your posture. Even when you are waiting, you have to make sure that you are also in good posture. Sit straight, pay attention, look at them. Don't talk to your, I mean, it's okay to talk to your colleagues here and then, but you know, when you are on that, on the first line, you know, when you are about to give in your resume, you will be having all these nerves cruising throughout your body. You will be having a nervous breakdown or something. Try to keep it together. Be cool, breathe in, breathe out. And just focus. So, it is your time to shine. So, now the recruiter is looking at you. So, you stand up, eye contact, smile, and posture. Bring in your resume and your pictures with you. Hand in your pictures and resume, shake the hand of the recruiter, and what I do personally is that I try to think of something that not everybody has told them already, especially if you have been waiting in line for a long time. So what I would personally say is, hi, good morning, welcome to Cebu, Philippines. So it's just a little bit char or something, I don't know, it's just something that I do, Just want to. I just want to stand out. So. After that, the conversation will start flowing. Uh, I would not know what kind of questions they will ask you on September 27, okay? But what I can do is just give you the questions that they have asked me years and years back ago. So usually what they would ask me is that, what is your current job right now? And what do you know about Qatar Airways? Who is our CEO? Why do you want to apply for Qatar Airways? So things like this, these are the things that they ask. So for me, the last time they asked me, um, what is your current job? And I told them that um, I am currently working as a flight attendant in a domestic airline here in the Philippines. So that's my answer. And then the recruiter asked me, oh, so you are already flying as a flight attendant. Why do you want to apply for Qatar Airways? Okay, so that's her question. The key is if the recruiter would ask you about your current job, make sure that you sound positive and that you are just looking for a new challenge in your life or something like that. And sell yourself. Sell yourself in the two minutes that you have, okay? So make sure that you practice what you will be saying on this time. Make sure that when you practice, don't make yourself sound like a robot or something. When I say practice, I mean practice sounding spontaneous, okay? What you will do is, I wrote this in my blog, in my post about interview tips. I wrote there that you have to write your answers, memorize it, and then you practice how you would say it in a spontaneous manner, okay? I love working for my current company. They have given me experience knowledge and skills about the industry and i believe that i am now ready for qatar airways to benefit from the skills knowledge and experience that i have is it the key is just make sure that you sound positive you are ready for a new challenge you have the skills the knowledge and the experience and their company will benefit from you Okay, I don't know how you will write it down in words, but when you do write it in a good way that is 
very nice like you are a salesperson and the product you're selling is yourself okay got me right so I'm sure that if you gone through this first day with the eye contact smile posture and your memorized script then you have the text for sure you will get a text that night and just be positive about it claim it okay you would have to register yourself and you will have a number a number that you have to put on your coat okay so once you have the number okay you will be seated you will be seated in the room and they will play a video about Qatar Airways their history the country's history and the company's history and the recruiters will also introduce themselves and tell you something about the company what you are going to do through the day so the key here is once you enter make sure that you have the right posture again okay make sure that you have the right posture and whoever is speaking put your eyes to that lady who is speaking don't look at the other recruiter who is sitting on the other side because the person who is sitting while the other one is standing she is sitting and writing down her observations of each and every one of you you have your numbers here clearly visible and she can just easily write your name on the failed list or on the name of the past list I don't know what they're doing but that is just how I imagine it okay because if ever they see you yawning looking at another person while somebody is talking in the front talking to your seatmate or whatsoever looking at your phone I think they will take note of that and you will not pass that round even if they're just doing the introduction from the moment you enter the room think you have to be aware that they are watching you every move you're making they are watching you okay so make sure your phone is off you focus on that day and it is going to be a long 13 minute video even though I personally have seen the video a thousand times well maybe 10 or 9 or 8 I don't know 8 times okay. if you're not counting the time anyways I've seen it a lot of times okay and I make sure that that does not show I make sure that they see me it's still interested in this freaking boring video just kidding okay so my point is just make sure that you are paying attention to the video when you enter the room there will be a pen and uh, there will be a pencil and a paper in front of you it's a good idea to write down every here here and then just write something down every now and then if you are not really looking at the video make sure that you act like you're looking at the video and putting down some notes okay so that's my very first tip because there will be two recruiters one will be handling the you know class and the other one will be observing all of you just like big brother so make sure that you behave well okay so after the presentation you will have to take an English exam and while you are taking the English exam one um, all of you will be called by the number and all, all of you will have to go to the back and do a reach test okay so you do a reach test and then after that they will ask you do you have any scars tattoos moles in your body and then you will have to answer the key to this step is make sure um, okay. the key to this step is that you may think that if you have scar oh no I will not get the job anymore okay the thing is it doesn't matter if you have a scar a mole or a tattoo the thing is the way you would answer them the way that you would um, show them that it does not bother you you will feel like you are self-conscious or something but don't let it show so when they ask you this just smile and say oh I have a mole beauty mole here and here here and here and here and still be graceful about it don't say like do you have a scar mom <gasps> I have a score here 
or something like that. You know, you get the idea. It's just exaggerated, okay? Just make sure that your face doesn't frown, your face doesn't show self-consciousness and all that stuff. Just still smile like a beauty pageant girl, okay? So that's it for the moles and scar. And then the next thing that they would do is after you, all of you have done the rich test, and um, all of you have taken the exam, you will have to pass the exam and then all of you will have to go out of the room and then you'll have to come back that is after their deliberation you have to come back and um, the thing is they will be announcing the numbers of the candidates who, who made it through that round and a lot of times I got rejected on this round because girl I'm so naive and I don't know what I was doing first few times I applied The group activity is so different at many times. Sometimes they would ask you to create something, like they will give you materials to create on, or sometimes they will give you a question and you will have to come up with the answers as a group. And sometimes it's not even groups, it's just pairs, two of you. Okay, what you'll have to do is introduce the other one. Don't be competitive on this round. It's not um, the best recitation award, okay? It's not the best talker wins type of thing, alright? So what you do to get through this round is make sure you show them that you are a team player. Listen to the instructions and make sure you follow them. Like some instructions are like you will be given just two minutes to work with each other. Make sure that you time yourself for two minutes, girl. And they will also say, I know all of you are the same nationality, but this is an assessment and we want you all to speak in English so girl don't speak Taglish girl speak English <laughs> okay so just speak English all right even if it's just a whisper or something speak English and when they say that don't mind us don't even look at us think of us as not we are as though we are not in the room and just work on the activity they mean it girl they mean it because all those times that I looked at them I can't help it you know, we were talking and I just look at them because it's so weird. They're walking around our circle and just observing us. And girl, every time that they saw me looking at them, I'm out. I'm out of the next round. Make sure you don't look at the recruiters. Follow the instructions. And just, you know, focus on the task ahead. During the task, what you should do, you have to talk, okay? Because you also don't want to be just sitting in the corner not saying anything at all. What I learned is that you have to talk, but not too much, okay? What you have to do is be polite at all times. Do not talk over another person. Do not cut them while they are talking. That's a sign that you are polite, okay? And when you are given a chance to talk, then you talk. After you talk, you include others. And how about you, Maria? What do you think? So, that's a point for you. So, you provide positive feedback to somebody. Like, for example, somebody would suggest, Oh, I would suggest that a flight attendant should be punctual. And you would say, That's a very good idea. Or, that's a very good suggestion. Definitely put that in the list. Something like that. Something positive you, you tell into the person something positive you compliment them in the way that they have provided um, uh, some solution to the problem okay and when you give your idea after that you involve others got it three steps okay those three steps will get you in through the team assessment or the group discussion to remember in the final interview is that they will be using natural lighting in the room so you will be in a smaller room wherein there's a big window and they will open the curtains so all the natural light will come in and they will see your face as if you are in the daylight make sure that no scars are seen and it's properly concealed so that's the tip forms or Qatar Airways application form is properly filled already because when I did this, I was out of time and um, because I still have to do redo my pictures 
and I don't have that much time and I was just so stressed so I, I decided to make it on the day but then it was so quick the interview was so quick I think it's just 15 minutes per person wherein it's supposed to be 30 minutes per person then I wasn't able to properly fill the application form right when you sit down, you'll be sitting down in front of the two of them just like you are talking to your girlfriend or something because that's what they want you to think or that's what they're actually doing, actually. It's just like you are making chica or something. So you'll be sit down, you have to be relaxed but still in good posture. You have to still um, sit in the proper way to sit wherein you put your, you know, you, you put your knees together and then your... You put your other leg on the ankle of the other leg. Anyways, I'll try to find the picture and then show you this in this video. I will show it somewhere here. And so you sit like that with your hands on top of the other. Okay. Make sure that you have proper grooming as well. Your makeup is done. Your nails are good. And um, you have your smile on. Okay. So your hair as also your hair in that side um, side part style and um, just wear full makeup and uh, studded earrings and your watch as well and um, for this make sure um, your body language is very important so when you speak whenever you speak um, make sure that you control your hands because just like me when I speak on the videos I always do like this like that that's okay if you're in a casual um, conversation but when you're in an interview this can get distracting and this can be like the thing that the reason that they will not let you in the company so make sure you put it on top of your lap because they are gauging how you would handle uh, pressure you would handle pressure because um, the job basically is very stressful and you'll be working in a pressurized environment in case of an emergency so you have to show that you can do it you have what it takes and you are confident you can do this job by your body language okay so you have to have the ability to remain calm so just breathe in breathe out think think that being nervous being um, anxious is a good sign because this means you really want this just always think positive and whenever you talk talk positive and be enthusiastic be happy that you're on there you are there on the final interview after all the cuts that they made you made it there make sure that it, you are worthy of that slot and that they are not wasting any time on you so just make sure that you get this interview right so they would probably um, ask you questions basically about uh, the things that you have filled out on that um, Qatar Airways application form that they gave you the day before. So have to fill it out, all of it, and they will be looking at your jobs that you have done before. What are probably the things that they would ask is um, what are the challenges that you have faced before? If you are a current cabin crew, they will ask you what is the worst flight that you have been in and how you handle the situation. What is the worst um, in-flight case that you have? Or what is the worst um, passenger experience that you had and how you handled it? So the key to answering this question is just, um, I also wrote this in my blog, um, this is the behavioral question. And how to answer it is basically divided into three three sections. First section is you tell what happened. Second section, what you did. And third section, in the end, it was all alright. Okay? You have to tell them a story wherein it was a successful story in the end. You don't want to share a story that you're a failure, um, everything was bad, um, anything that is negative. You don't want that to happen. Okay? The, thing here is that they are asking you what a question that can be so negative and then make sure that you answer it get back to them in a positive way so that um, that's the, that's what they want to hear okay so they will ask you negative questions make sure you turn it into a positive thing all right it's either that in the end um, in the end everybody learned the lesson everybody become closer to each other something like that okay so that's how they do it so i guess that's it this is my qatar airways interview tips 
Qatar Airways open day interview tips for you wherein I just talk and talk and talk and nothing else I was actually thinking about you know demonstrating the things that I have talked about this in this video <laughs> make it more fun involve my friends so I'll have more actors for you <laughs> or something like that but then then again I see that a um, lot of people are going to be uh, needing these tips and I hope that I have covered everything and I have um, given you some ways wherein um, you will be able to prepare yourself for the coming um, interview. I'll be so happy to see somebody, even just one person, get in because of their dedication, because of you applying the tips that I've given you and also preparing yourself, okay? I'm not taking all the credit, you have to do the work, but I want to go to, the, to your journey with you. Okay, so let me know, update me, thanks for watching, and I hope that you learn a thing or two on this video. If this has been helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up or like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know how your journey uh, goes. And I'll be waiting for your comments down below. And once again, good luck, and I will fly with you soon. Bye! Overall, my... Um, uh, overall tip for you is be confident but not too confident okay you have to be um, confident but humble all right so don't have to be arrogant just be confident in yourself show them that you can do this job this is easy for you you can do this job nothing is gonna be um, stopping you or something like that nothing is, is impossible for you and you have to go there with the right attitude and the right attitude is the positive attitude always be positive always smile always say something positive and don't say anything negative about anyone else about the weather or about anything period and also when you are there my my really important tip for you and for my friends who are applying i gave this to her and it worked okay so Every time you're in an interview, don't look at the other person. Don't look at the other person, what she's wearing, or how she looks like. Oh, she looks so pretty, she looks so ugly, she looks so tall, she looks so small. Don't 